You have tickets to see your favorite band live, but then you get to the gate and you're turned away. Your tickets are counterfeits. It's happening more and more for both concerts and sporting events. Two investigator Pam Zeckman rode along with authorities as they busted up one of the counterfeit rings. This must have been very interesting. It was, Rob. Police say the rings selling these fake tickets online are not only swindling people, they could be dangerous as well. Will you need two tickets? Yes. <laughs> Paul McCartney playing at the United Center. A dream come true for Beatle fans. I just love them. And especially Paul, he was always my favorite because I thought he was the cutest one. Kathleen Peters and her son bought four tickets to the concert off of Craigslist for $700. The ad seemed convincing. He said his brother was getting married in Miami and he had to get rid of the tickets and it sounded very legitimate. Peter's son later checked with the United Center and was told the tickets were counterfeit. Your reaction when you found out that these were fake? My stomach sank. I was furious. You don't like to see people get scammed. It's, it's horrendous when you go to an event and, you, and you're bringing your family there and all of a sudden you can't get in because you were scammed. We told the Cook County Sheriff's Department about the ads on Craigslist. They contacted the same seller no the window, still and talking. set up a no sting. No male, black, white shirt, jeans. We went along for the bust to go, to go, to go. when they arrested this juvenile for selling two fake tickets. Even though they're selling tickets, these people have pretty extensive criminal backgrounds and, and they are for violence. Rodney Pohl, who had a previous felony conviction for unlawful use of a weapon, was also charged for selling bogus tickets. The individual has sold uh, six or seven times to different people, uh, different concerts. It's a lot easier now for the fraudsters to create fake tickets. You work for Ticketmaster. You can't tell by just looking at these tickets whether they're fake or not. And unfortunately, because printing is, is so sophisticated today, uh, it's almost impossible to look at a ticket and just by looking at it, tell if it's real or not. While they may look real, the fake ones won't scan at the ticket gate, leaving fans like Peters frustrated. It's just so unfair. People work hard and these, these guys just take their money for nothing. Cook County Sheriff's Police say there are several rings out there selling fake tickets and they're trying to identify who's printing them and running the operations. Meanwhile, the only way to make sure you have a real ticket is to buy it directly from the event ticket seller or a known resale vendor that guarantees its authenticity. Otherwise, Rob, you may be at the front gate and you can't get in. That's horrible for people that are looking forward to going to see those concerts and sporting events, but what are the odds, if you've been defrauded, that you would actually get your money back? Slim to none. That's not good. You're not going to get it. Okay. Good advice there, Pam. Thank you.